to another episode of Growing Growin La La's Crops. Crops. So today I have my husband Floyd Jackson with me today. Happy New Year, you guys. Decided to do this video together because we have made our very own homemade cucumbers. So we were excited about sharing this experience with you guys um, so that, you know, once springtime comes back around, you guys can make your very own homemade cucumber. If you follow my Instagram page, you can check that video out of me putting the cucumbers into this pickle juice that we reuse. Uh, we like this brand. We buy from Publix or Walmart. You can buy from Publix, Walmart for copyrighted purposes. I don't want to say the name or display the brand on this video. So if you are interested, like I said, just check out my Instagram page at Lala's Crops. And you may have to stroll up a little bit, you guys, before you see the video. Since I've been gardening, uh, my husband and I have been enjoying our fruits of our labor. The fruits of our labor. It's been a full year now, you guys, so hooray for that. But, you know, since I've been growing, you know, I've, I've grown collard greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots. What else? What else have I been growing? Cabbage. Cabbage. Yeah, that, that, that peppers, was good. Bell peppers. Bell peppers. beans. Pole beans. So, you know, of course we have been enjoying all the vegetables that, you know, we grow in the garden. Certain vegetables we are really excited about eating. Like the cabbage, we were we were excited about eating that. What else? The collard greens, of course. That was like a continuing, you tomatoes know. Oh yeah, the tomatoes too, the tomatoes too. Yeah, the tomatoes. I think we have both, both of us really enjoyed the yellow cherry varieties, uh, yeah. the variety. Yeah. That was really sweet. I think the next thing is the pineapple. Oh yeah, so yes, so the, the next, next. Yeah, the next thing would be the pineapple. The next thing that we are excited about is the pineapple. So uh, we have never grown pineapples. Uh, so that's the reason why we are excited about that. It's just an amazing feeling to, you know, grow your own fruits and vegetables and just see the taste different. How, how does it taste differently compared to, you know, the store-bought fruits and vegetables. I will say that with my cucumbers, I did see a difference between store-bought and homegrown. You know, if you ever feel a cucumber, when you go to the store, you, you feel this waxy film on the cucumber. But when I harvested my cucumbers, it, was, it I did not feel that at all, so. And I think that comes with from the fertilizer and the preservatives. Right, the, the preserving, stuff. yeah. They spray on the, uh, the, the fruits and vegetables. Right. So they can last longer. Right. Than shipping and right they're coming over right uh, seas or whatnot so. right yeah yeah i agree i agree so but it, it's nothing like your your homegrown <laughs> vegetables it's not um don't get me wrong it has been a journey and i've had my fair share of dealing with pests i'm going to also discuss the part two of the approach that i will be doing to kind of eliminate the nematode damage in my garden i did a part one and i'll put that link in the video above and then i'm going to also show you guys the rest of the seeds that i have accumulated since yeah i've been buying some seeds you guys because i'm super excited so um she, is. she really is <laughs> i planted out everything i drew down i drew it out guys she's gonna put me to work yeah Damn. well i just i just need my husband to do the trailer stints for me okay i that that's that's i feel like you know once you get that experience and you learn how to plant things you want to add extra extra things to your garden as yeah. far as you know structures and just bringing more attention to your garden so since i do youtube videos and instagram posts i want to bring more attention to my garden we both got a lot of time yes i have the sparkle edition on with my little glitter hat <laughs> uh, and then my husband just has like the plain t-shirt with lala's crop he bought both of us these hats and it goes i think it goes nicely with the lala's crops t-shirts so in the near future i may sell them on uh etsy that website we are going to try our homemade pickles we'll do the honors babe of course i would no i like to eat so <laughs> yes you should have wore that other teacher i'm just here for the food <laughs> all right you go ahead and get the big one babe <laughs> Ooh, so let me discuss how long we have had this I have to look at my Instagram post, you guys, and I'll put the dates down below exactly when I placed these cucumbers into this pickle juice so that you guys can get, like, you know, an estimated time frame of, you know, how long we have kept our cucumbers in here. This is what it looks like. I hope you can see that. Of course, you can tell, like, the juices have, you know, sat into this cucumber. I feel like 
My you don't mouth want... is watering. Sorry. Oh guys. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me start rambling so my husband can just go ahead and taste it, and then I can start start back rambling. Okay. All right. So you guys, the moment of the truth. Yeah. Ready? How much? How... That's it. Oh, okay. All right. So we got two good pickles in here. Mind you now, um, the cucumber was kind of like shaped this way, so it's kind of hard to cut into the, the cucumber to make basically, you know, pickles. So whose idea was to do this? Oh yeah, okay, all right. So it was my husband's idea to keep the pickle juice so that we can we could eventually make some pickles. So I'll give you that. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, so let's let's go ahead and taste. You ready? Yeah. All right, ready. here we go. All right. I do like it, babe. I like it. I feel like we probably could have kept it in a little longer mm -hmm. to really get that a little bit more vinegar. I taste a lot of it. I mean, mine. yeah, but I like that. I like that. Maybe it's just a fresh pickle. Maybe that's what it is, you know? Because you got to realize how long do the pickles sit in the store? You know what I'm saying? We didn't really do our investigation on that. No, maybe we did not. Might, maybe you might, you might put that in the description or something. Well, I have to I have to do research to see exactly how long the pickles sit in the jar when they make it, and then when they get distributed. Yeah, distri to, yeah, to the stores. So I have to figure that out. So, but I feel like we did a good job, to be honest. It's good. Like it has the yellow, it has the yellow uh, tint to it, so you know it's been sitting sitting down in this um, this pickle juice for a while. So check it out. It's crunchy. Got a little texture on it. And I yeah. think we're gonna talk about later on uh, some some seeds that she's gonna use yeah. that are actually for cucumbers that are for pickling. Yeah. So, so exactly, specifically for um, making pickles. It's all about growing and just trying to get better as a grower, and and that's gonna reflect in your garden. So um, and that and that's my main goal, and ju and just to help people along the way. I'm a visual learner, so I wanted to provide visual videos for people who are the same type of learners like me, you know, so. And I think you got a lot of good positive feedback. Right. From people saying that your your videos are very informative. Mm -hmm. They're very educational and very helpful. Right. In that process. So, right. But they still could get something that shows value in your work and what you've been doing. And I just honor you. Oh, um, thanks, babe. <laughs> Yeah, you, I, I see the work you put in. Yes. I'm proud of my wife. So. I have my ups and downs. Really just dealing with pests. And I'm going to make another video of how I'm dealing with the cabbage root fly. That's going to be in another table talk in the garden. Oh, what's that? Well, it's actually, um, it's a fly that lays this larva. And it penetrates down into the soil. And they eat the roots. So yeah, remember that. Come check that out. Yes. Please so check that out. Remember that cabbage that was like mm, sloppy, uh -huh. and you was like, "No, babe, I just think it needs water." I was like, "No, it's something wrong with it. I, I know my it's something wrong with my babies." Okay. So um, I went out, and sure enough, it was like these little uh, white worms down into the soil, and it just the de disintegrated the the cabbage stem. I just pulled up the stem. I was like. So, um, so please check out that video. Yeah. So, so it's you not see the signs. Yes. Yes. In due time, I will be making uh, a video for that. Like I said, just to provide visual for you guys and just to, uh, you know, give you other options that you can, you know, incorporate in your garden. So, all right. So I enjoyed that pickle. And now we are going to discuss some of my spring 2021 seeds that I have been accumulating over the past couple months. So I'm going to start off with the flower seeds, you guys. I'm gonna give half to my husband. All right, so for the first flower, I have the nasturtiums. I have two types of nasturtiums. The first type is like just the dwarf cherry rose, which I will be placing around like the corners of my raised bed. This is like more of like the bushy type. So nasturtiums help with certain pests like aphids they attract the aphids onto their leaves and this is a great flower to plant around your cabbages your peppers uh, tomatoes to kind of help with certain pests so i have like the dwarf variety and then i also have the tall variety that i will be growing with my vegetables that grow on vines such as you know the pole bean cucumbers what else what else i think that's it yeah, so pole beans and cucumbers. I will be incorporating the tall variety 
with those fish. I definitely recommend um, these flowers to grow these flowers in, in your garden. So I got the Xenia cactus mix. Mm -hmm. Most of you know that I have grown Xenia flowers this past summer. Yeah, this past summer slash fall because they still were kicking it in the fall. And I really enjoyed growing these flowers to make my flower bouquets. So I decided to, um, I have two varieties, babe. So I decided to grow these flowers again, but I got a different variety. So I have the, this one right here. I have the cut and come back again varieties, just like the regular zinnias. And then on my end, you guys know that I enjoyed growing sunflowers also. So I have two different types of varieties. The first type was the snack seed sunflower. So um, these grow up to six to eight feet tall and they also provide some nice sized sunflower seeds. So I think we will enjoy that. <laughs> she gonna enjoy one of me. You don't like sunflower seeds? I do, but you country. Whatever, <laughs> call it what you want. I call it my country girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second variety that I bought was the sunflower and sundancer. This variety is gonna be good for when I uh, want to uh, do my cut flowers. So that's the reason why I bought these. And this gets up to five to six feet tall. We got the dahlia mm -hmm. next. There's mm -hmm. no picture on this guy, yeah. sorry. But I bought that from Johnny Seeds. And then I'll um, also tell you guys where I buy the seeds from. Um, the ones I just showed you, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you where I bought them from. So the sunflower seeds I bought from uh, Renee's Garden. And then uh, for these, I just bought these from Home Depot. They are the Fairy Morse seeds are sold at Home Depot, Walmart, those type of stores. So I forgot to tell you guys about that. Okay. So this one is? Yes, this one's from Johnny Seeds. So you want to do the next one while I put this in here? I think this is a delphinium flower. Mm hmm I think that these are going to be some nice flowers to put in my flower bouquets as far as like something tall and to provide um, some different type of textures to the flower bouquets. So I decided to buy, just to buy these, you know. So we got some amaranth. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've never grown this type of flower, but it's very unique looking. Quite eye-catching in the garden and can be cut from bouquets for bouquets so tall plants are easy to grow yeah so i saw easy to grow and i saw bouquets i said yeah we're gonna go ahead and buy that <laughs> <laughs> the last two that i have are the morning glory and this is the tall variety i plan on growing these on a trellis also and then i have um some sweet peas i've never grown sweet peas i'm hoping that they're not too fussy as far as growing wise so we'll see about these but I plan on, I'm, I definitely need to provide a trellis for these because they get up to six to 12 feet tall, okay? All right, so uh, for the most part, that sums up the flowers that I will be, you know, growing in the garden, you guys. So I can hear the excitement in her voice already. Yeah, it's yeah. like, she, she's trying to visualize it, how she's gonna have it. And yes, you guys, I have already <laughs> planned things out. I, I have my notepad and I, I wrote down like where I wanna place things because I have to get it right. I have to get it right. So now we are going to discuss um, the vegetables that I will be growing, guys. So I have the County Fair Improved Hybrid Cucumbers. This is the cucumbers that I grew last time that I, I did. I got a good amount of harvest with. These produce mainly female flowers. And I bought these from youngseeds.com and then also Market More from Renee's Garden. And uh, I got the homemade pickles, you guys. So this is the variety that my husband was referring to. Um, that is specifically grown to make uh, pickles. So, all right, moving on to the corn. Now you guys, I just placed all of my seeds in a Ziploc bags right now. I do need to get some, yeah, something to organize, like whatever. I'm wondering why my zip bag, Ziploc bags are gone. Oh, yours or is it ours? We supposed to be one. Yeah, see, how, see how he want to be like that? Okay. <laughs> Imagine now, he didn't buy these, but okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, the corns that I will be growing are the peaches and cream sweet corn, and I bought this from Heinz website. And then I also have uh, this tri-sweet hybrid variety, and I bought these mm. from youngseeds.com. I'm doing two different varieties of corn this year. Okay, she that's really, I think that's her next goal, really. Oh, corn yes. Because I feel like she's been- Listen, you guys. Really frustrated with the corn. In, in life, when you grow, it's certain vegetables that you just want to master and you just want to be able to get vegetables from. Corn has not been one. I've been, I, I had the 
the, the little worm on there. And then when it did grow like a nice size, the tassels died out before the silts developed. I'm going to pray that I, we, we going to get us some corn now. Oh, and I have some jumbo peanuts. This is going to be peanuts. my first. Yes. Remember I bought peanuts. It's, I've had these for a while. Country. I've just, like I said, I've just, country, yes, yes. I remember when we used to uh, stay the summers at my grandparents' house and my granddaddy used, he used to make roasted peanuts in the oven. So I was like, you know what? I got, I have to try to grow some peanuts so, just so that I could bring back that memory and like that walnuts. smell in the house, huh? I like walnuts better. Oh, city boy. That's city boy. I'm country girl. This is city boy right here. <laughs> Since you want, I got, I got one on you. <laughs> I so yeah. Um, so I want to do, uh, I want to grow some jumbo peanuts. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna still do my research to figure out exactly how to grow some peanuts. So I also want to discuss what approach we are using to help prevent the nematodes. And so for part two of that, um, I have found some seeds that are resistant towards nematodes. So that kind of gave me an ease at mine once I did my research to figure out like how I need to prepare my soil and that there are also different varieties of seeds out there that are resistant towards nematodes. Celebrity tomatoes, and I bought these from HighsTools.com. And then the second variety is Lemon Boy Tomato. Same website, HighsTools.com. Thanks, babe. And then Better Boy Tomato. Better Boy. Better Boy. Set for the same website. Um, so that's the plan for as far as you know preventing the nematodes oh and the, I don't have the bell pepper seeds right now but I did purchase them yesterday and the, the variety that are resistant towards nematodes are the Carolina wonder bell pepper so in the future I'm looking to get a tool that's gonna help amend the soil for her garden and the raised beds yeah that way it will eliminate that risk of nematode as well. Yeah, so we, we trying different approaches to, you know, get the garden back up and running. So uh, for spring 2021. So I just wanted to show you guys my seed collection for the spring 2021 and how we enjoyed our homemade pickle today. Happy New Year. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So yeah, we will see you guys in the next either grow with La La's crops or table talk in the garden. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And for any returning subscribers, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that red notification button below so that you can get notified once I post new videos. As always, you guys, happy gardening. Peace.